How are you? It's good to see you again. And I see you. Truly, I hope you're doing well. And I appreciate you being here. I'm just really honored by your stopping in to view what it is I do here. My blah, blah, blah. And I'm glad it comforts many of you, just the droning of my voice. And um, so thank you for being here. I get asked a lot about the products I use for my hair, for my face, for my body, which you don't see a lot of and that's okay. Um, but I wanted to show you some things um, that I use on a daily basis. And this is not sponsored, but I will have links to them um, from Amazon. I have an affiliate account there. And so if you click on that in my description, you'll be taken right to the product. And these are things that, as always, I believe in, and that's why I'm showing you. I would not show you something that I don't use or don't believe in, whether it is sponsored or not. That's the God's honest truth. Now, um, I will put this probably into the ASMR playlist, and I don't know if you've checked out my playlists. I kind of tried to organize all my videos into a playlist. So the reason I like playlists is because you can, what I do is I put it on at night and it doesn't run out. It keeps going down the list and playing what I see in that playlist. If I just put one video on that I like and I put my ear pods in and I start to doze off, what happens is when that video is over, I like it to continue on to something else rather than stop. Sometimes I wake up and I'm listening to the most random stuff. It's like, what the heck? You know, I didn't know anything like this was even on YouTube. And um, so anyway, when you click on listen to a playlist, you can close your eyes. You don't have to watch it, but it's going to be my same droning voice going video after video after video, if that's what you want. So anyway, I wanted to show you some of the things that I use every day, almost every day, and tell you a little bit about them. And then at the end, I'm going to show you a little haul that I did. And I blame this one on Lori Latte. And I even sent her a text message. I said, this is all your fault. And I didn't explain what. <laughs> and then I told her, I'm out shopping and it's all your fault. And then I sent her a selfie of me and my mom out shopping. So anyway, I've got a couple of categories here. And um, I, it's not limited to just girls, to just women. It's to anybody because I'm at the point of self-preservation and I'm trying to, um, you know, maintain as much as I can because, you know, gravity is setting in, age is setting in. I'm in my 60s and, um, you know, so I've, I've got to, do a little work <laughs> before I'm ready to go out. But you know what? If I could go back to the 70s and start taking care of my skin and hair and body like I do now, I would do that. So for those of you who are younger, um, self-care, beauty care starts right away. You don't have to be getting old to start. I encourage you to start now. And, you know, aging is in our DNA, how we age, but there's still a lot that we can help stave off just a little bit. So let me show you. Starting with my hair. We'll just start with hair because I'm picking that for right now. Um, not shampoos and conditioners. I, I have a couple little things and I, there's a product 
I use that I was sponsored by a couple months ago and I love that. Um, so anyway, you can check out that video, but let me show you something else I use. After I'm done washing my hair and conditioning it and putting the serum in, I have these in the shower. And it's called, it's a tin. And they're leave-in products. You just spray a tiny little bit in your palm, rub it, and then just put it in my hair, put it in your hair, and it's a leave-in product. And it acts as a detangler, but also a conditioner. So I love these. One of these is, I feel like I'm talking really fast in this video, so I'm gonna try to slow down. Um, so one is with keratin and the other is, um, the regular, it's a tin, you know, nourishing leave-in conditioner. So either one, I don't know the difference. I don't, I can't tell the difference. This one's almost empty and that's why I ordered this one. And... I've been using this since I think it first came out, like, I don't know, 10, 15 years now. Maybe not quite that long. Let me think, 10. Yeah, probably about 10 years, I think, that I've been using this one. So, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Now, sometimes when it's a very dry day, and here in California, it can get so dry, you can spit and before the spit hits the ground, it's dried because it just evaporates. It can be so, so dry here. And so I'll put this on, it's an oil. It's called El Viv. And it's not that expensive, it's L'Oreal. But it's a really great, um, it does, it's an oil, but it doesn't weigh down your hair. So I really love this, I used it this morning So, Elvive Extraordinary Oil, and um, I use this probably once a week. Okay, I think that's it for the hair. Now, let's go to the body, and then we'll come back to the face. Okay, now, I have very dry skin, and I think it is because of our climate. And there are a couple of things that I use that have made a huge difference. One, and I've mentioned this one before, is the Pomada de la Campaña. And I buy mine in Mexico. It's, they're just a few dollars, four, four dollars maybe. And it's originally like a burn cream. I'll use this on my face, I'll use this on my legs, and a little, a little goes a long way. So, it's not very greasy, it soaks right in, and when I use this, it's at night. And um, I just love it. And you know how I heard about it? I read an article with Selma Hayek, and she said, Every time she goes to Mexico, she stocks up on this. And she's married to like one of the richest men on the planet. She could buy anything she wants. And I figured, well, golly, if she's buying this and it's only a few dollars, I'm gonna buy this. So it comes in a couple of different sizes. Um, 75 grams and 35 grams. So I love this stuff. And like I said, it's kind of a burn cream, but if you get a sunburn, you can try this on it. Okay. Then, my legs are super, super dry. And I don't want this to be like the old lady channel, but they're getting like creepy. <laughs> Just the truth. And so, a dermatolo 
a dermatologist told me about this product and I ordered it on Amazon and I am sold. I saw a difference in under two weeks. It's called Amlactin. And I bought the heavy cream as well as the daily moisturizer. And the active ingredient is a lactic acid. This is 15% and it's very heavy and creamy and it's fantastic. And then I use this every day, sometimes two or three times, and I am seeing a huge difference. So if you have dry skin or very dry skin, amlactin. This is the best product. I, I mean, I can see it on my legs, the difference. And I'm telling all my friends um, who I went to school with, it's like, hey, are you getting crepey legs? Yeah, like, you gotta try this. So, okay, that's it for the body. And I swear by those. Now, let's go to the face. I use the wipes, you know, those cleansing tissues. Um, I get them at Costco in bulk and they're fine for taking off the makeup, but that's only the first step. You have to wash your face after. I don't, they have a funky smell and I don't believe they get everything. So I do a secondary wash and I've been using this ROC retinol correction uh, serum, deep wrinkle serum cleanser. I don't care if it says deep wrinkle. If you're 20, if you're 15, if you're 30, this is awesome. So I use just a tiny dab. I've had this. It's only down this far. And you just use a tiny, tiny dab, soap up, rinse off, Okay, so use the wipes to get your makeup off, makeup off, but then cleanse your face. So two steps, not just the one, okay? I don't care how tired you are, wash your face. Then, right after I do that, there are two things I do right away. For morning and night, I use this, and I just started this about three weeks ago, and I love it. It's bliss, and this is vitamin C. And the thing I like about this is it's enclosed, it's a pump. And it, so it's not exposed to air. Vitamin C is highly, easily oxidated. And if you, if you open it and expose it to the air every day, you'll see it starting to turn brown. It's oxidizing and you don't want your product doing that. You want to keep it as fresh and long lasting as possible. And so this bliss, vitamin C tripeptide. So highly, highly recommend. It feels, it smells citrusy and orange, like an orange. I love this. It just is so silky smooth. Okay, so that goes on right away. And the thing about vitamin C is it lightens and brightens brown spots. I use, You can't see it with these amazing lights. I have an age spot, sunspot, and my dermatologist told me I got that from sunning in the 60s and 70s. You know, and they come out later in life. So this vitamin C helps lighten and brighten your face. So use this now. And like I said, I don't care what age you are. Use it now. And then when you go out into the sun, you must wear sunscreen. So I love this. La Roche-Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer. And it's got a 
30 SPF. And it's light, it's not sticky, it's non-oily, and it just, it does the job and it sits under my makeup beautifully. I don't need any more sun damage than I've already done in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Laying out and getting as dark as possible with baby oil was what we did. And if you look at, I think I did it on this, on my YouTube as well as my Instagram page that throwback to the, I don't know, late 70s or early 80s. I was wearing all that gold and you know, I was dark, 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 dark. And I look at that and just think, Jeannie, you were aging yourself. Tanning is what they do to hides, remember. Hides are tanned. Leather turned into leather. So, sunscreen, La Roche-Posay. Now at night, here's another thing. And you may need a prescription for this. It's Retin-A. That is my also um, fantastic go-to. I buy mine in Mexico. And I think in Canada, you can buy it as well without a prescription. It's not hard to get. You just have to have your doctor or your dermatologist prescribe it. So it's just looks like this. And you use a tiny little dab, tiny little dab, and it takes a while to get for your skin to get used to this. At first, it's kind of red and flaky. But um, I love Retin-A. It's the best, best, best. And you put this on clean skin. So Retin-A, talk to your doctor about this. It is a prescription here in the United States. But like I said, I don't think in uh, Canada, and I know definitely not in Mexico. So, okay, I'm keeping you guys young. Now, as far as... Um, makeup products. I'm going to do another um, get ready with me at some point. There's just more to set up there. and uh, But something I got off Amazon and it was recommended by some big makeup gal. I can't remember her name. And I'm in love with Huda Beauty. H-U-D-A Beauty. Now, this particular palette. It's an eyeshadow palette and I'm wearing it all the time in my videos. Um, can you see? It's the nude palette. They have different palettes. And the reason I love this is because I have gotten palettes at Oh, what is that one store? Um, TJ Maxx and Marshalls and other stores like that. And they're like five, six, eight dollars. The problem with some of those, number one, they're not made in very good factories. The thing about those really cheap palettes is they do not have good saturation in the colors. These are super saturated. They're very, um, they go on and, and they don't come off like a thin powder. They're, like I said, they're very saturated and not thin. The color that you see here, and I like nudes, um, are are really deep and rich. So I really like that. This has a combination of some with sparkles or some shine to it and others are matte. Depends on the mood I'm in. Uh, so sometimes, for instance, I wear the light, this one, up higher, or sometimes on my eyelid, and then I wear the nudes in my crease, and then as an eyeliner, I use this darkest one. So, Huda Beauty. It's a really good quality 
eyeshadow. And with one or two of these, you can almost get rid of everything else you have. This palette and maybe something a little more um, vibrant in color. So that's my two cents on that. Okay, so those are my top, top recommendations for some of the things I use every day to look like I do. <laughs> really, they are amazing maintenance products um, that I am swearing by. So, I'm going to show you my little haul now. I went to Bath and Body Works because Lori Latte was just raving on and on and on in one of her videos about some of these scents and oh, she sucked me in. So I thought, hey, they're having a 50 to 75% off discount. I'm going to go. Come on, mom, let's go. So let me show you some of what I got. You know, I asked you about hauls, what kind you like. And the number one was Ulta Sephora makeup stuff. And I was looking through my stuff and I thought, I don't need anything else, really. And I don't like going out and shopping just to shop, just to spend money. Sometimes once in a blue moon, maybe once a year, I'll do something like that with someone. But overall, I don't like to just go out and shop. I have to have a reason. And very often, if I can just add it to my Amazon order, I'll do that. That's why I love Amazon. Who doesn't, right? But I went to Bath and Body Works. I didn't need anything, but I did buy some things. The first thing I got was this body cream. Sweet Pea is the scent. Now, scents are very hard to describe online, and it's just very, it's just light and fresh. I'm, my tastes run totally different than Lori's. She likes those sweet cotton candy, you know, uh, uh, you know, deep scents like that. And I like very light and crisp and, um, I saw something that had the ginger, whatever, and I thought, I love this, and she doesn't, so big deal. Anyway, so the Sweet Pea Body Lotion, Body Cream. And then, because they had the sale, three, or buy three and you get one free, my mom bought a couple things too. I got this for my husband. It's a um, body cream called Ocean. thing about my husband is he has no smell. Zero. He was in an accident a long time ago and his olfactory nerve was severed. So he has zero sense of smell. He can taste. And I like this. So if there's a scent and I like it for a man, he gets to wear it because I like it. He can't smell it. Let me tell you about that once, a story. We um, had a dog, a schnauzer named Max, and I came home one day, and the back door was open, patio door, and Max was coming in and out. And I walked in, and the house smelled to high heaven of skunk. Max had been skunked. And my husband had no idea. He can't even smell skunk. And Max had gone and rubbed up against every sofa on all the rugs, to, you know, just rubbing. And my husband had no idea. And the whole house was just awful. And we had to take Max to the vet and they tried to do some wash and get it out of him. He got nailed. And my poor husband had no idea. <laughs> Yeah, we have lots of stories like that. So, the next thing I got were candles, a couple of candles. Just because, oh, this is sweet red mango. Oh, it smells so good. It's sweet. 
sweet red mango. And that's as sweet as I would like a scent to be. I don't like super sweet. And then this one is <laughs> winter candy apple. It's actually a Christmas scent, but I liked it. They had it on sale for 75% off. Oh, and it smells so nice. So that, and then just because it was so cute, this little plug-in, and I'm not big on plug-in scents. It's a little turtle. Isn't he cute? So you plug him in and you put in these things. And I liked what these were. This one is linen and lavender. And oh, it smelled so good. So I thought, you know, I'll just get that. And the second one I got was Japanese cherry blossom. So these are really nice. So I thought I'd put one in a couple, you know, one in the bathroom, the guest bathroom, and just for fun. And then I got, the last thing I got was a clip for my car. And it goes on the vent. And you can put in these little, little slide-in things. And this is champagne toast. And then um, flannel. And the last one is renew and refresh. So I'm going to try that in my car. And that's it. That was my big haul. I think I spent about $100. But remember, my mom got three or four things too, so it was a good deal. I didn't want to spend more than that just because I didn't need any. I didn't need any of this, but I was having fun, and I was channeling Lori Latte, <laughs> and uh, so now I smell, but I'm really soft. So that's just a little quick blah 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 on things I use and some of you know my beauty products my beauty maintenance products and a little shopping haul I know it's not a big haul I just don't know that I'm going to be getting to Ulta or Sephora anytime soon because like I said I just don't need anything I do like cost plus world market because of the foods they have there, the snacky snack things, the candies. They have all kinds of international yummy things, uh, soups and sauces and, um, you know, spices. And I love that. I love, love, love that. When we travel, that's what I buy a lot of our spices and uh, sauce mixes and things, things I can bring home that I can cook with. So, I hope you enjoyed this. If anything, it's background noise for many of you. Uh, we are in the midst of a lot of sorting and doing stuff around this house. And uh, I want to show you something I found from the 80s, the early 80s, the things I hang on to. Look at this. Okay. I could put this, it's just a little wrap. I could put this on a little black dress and dress it up. Is this cool or what? Look at that. Honestly, I have to keep it just because. Then I thought, you know, this could make like a Halloween costume watch us. Like a matryoshka. 
So. I wanted to show you that. So. I'm going to sign off for now. I appreciate you. And I hope you enjoyed this little kind of fast-spoken, soft-spoken, but I know I was kind of rapid-fire, so I apologize if I was too fast. And uh, I hope you are well. I bid you so much peace, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.